Customizing the layout of the item window is a powerful feature that allows you to view the information you need quickly and efficiently. First, we'll need to open a new item window using the Add button in the ribbon bar of Sell Items mode. The item window is broken down into two areas. The top contains all of the item information that is common to all sites, and the bottom area contains information that is specific to each site. The relative space between two areas can be modified by dragging the splitter bar between them. Each area is made up of different panes that are either shown alone or docked with other panes. Docking panes together results in a tab strip allowing access to each pane while using less space. Panes that aren't used as often can be docked behind more frequently used panes. Panes can be moved by grabbing the tabs and dragging to the desired location. After dragging a pane, the placement compass will appear. Hover over the up, down, left, or right arrows and the yellow box will indicate the location where the dragged pane will be placed. Selecting the square in the middle of the compass will dock the pane to the existing pane and it will then appear as a tab. Once a pane layout has been customized, select Save as Default from the Save icon drop-down. Each time the item window is opened, the Save Default layout will be used. Undesired changes can be undone to revert to the last saved layout, or to start over, the layout can be restored to the factory default. Panes or dock groups of panes can be resized relative to other panes. Placing the cursor between two panes provides a draggable icon to resize. Tabs can be reordered within their dock group by dragging and dropping. Panes can even be undocked entirely from the item window by not choosing any area of the placement compass. Let's try a few examples. Say that you are a seller that only uses auction listings. You can dock the fixed price tab behind the auction tab to clear up space for the information you really care about. Maybe you want to see all of the item data at once without having to click through tabs. You could split all of the tabs into their own panes to have instant access to all of the item information. Once you have split the panes, you could resize them to view all of the information available. The item window is incredibly customizable, with each site tab having its own layout. Site tabs for other sites will appear next to the eBay tab in the bottom area of the item window. Once you are satisfied with your layout, don't forget to save it as the default layout in the top right corner.